welcome to the League of Legends patch preview. I'm Freak and I'm here with Morello, lead champion designer. Together we'll be discussing some of the gameplay changes coming into the next patch for League of Legends. Note that this video does not cover every single change, but will explain the thought process behind some of our decisions. We're adding some pretty cool changes to Lux. First, the cooldown on Lucent Singularity is going to start ticking down the second she fires the ability instead of when she explodes it, but the base cooldown is going up. Second, we're making more of her abilities reveal Fog of War. Tell us about these changes. The way the cooldown used to work on Lucent Singularity, Lux players were kind of punished for leaving that skill out there as an AoE slow field. Now, there's a little bit more timing and decision making involved in when to detonate that skill since you're going to get it back at the same time anyway. How long can you hold it out there, slow foes, and still get that damage? That's something Lux players are going to have to think about a lot. This has a couple additional considerations as well. For example, CDR is now way better on Lux because it actually affects Lucent Singularity in a meaningful way. However, if you just double tap Lucent Singularity, you will see an overall DPS decrease based on the longer cooldown. But we predict this will be a great set of changes for Lux players and really reward skillful play. We also took this opportunity to add a couple of cool extra thematic utility things to Lux. For example, Lucent Singularity gives vision while it moves through the world, and her ultimate also gives vision when you shoot it off. This gives her a little bit more utility if you do want to run that bottom lane kind of more CC utility Lux, as well as just, just cool, she's a light mage, she should probably help you see things better. Olaf is receiving quite a few buffs. Undertow's base damage and AD ratio are going up, but the ability will now scale with bonus attack damage instead of total. Additionally, the base cooldown and cooldown reduction for picking up the axe are going down. Olaf's ultimate, Ragnarok, is losing its flat damage reduction and instead gaining bonus armor and magic resist. What are the goals with these buffs? The main objective behind going with bonus AD is that it doesn't include your champion's base stats, but still continues to include things like items and buffs. What this does as a design tool for us is it gives us more control over how the skill scales and it lets us do things like buff his AD ratios. We wanted to buff the AD ratio because building AD and having that late game carry Olaf always seemed like an attractive option but was never a competitive build. The cooldown change makes it so that if Olaf throws his axe into a space like under a tower for example, he's not completely punished and unable to harass from that point. The reason to change from flat reduction into a resistance based approach is because it incentivizes building health. This is important because you already get more bonus out of having a lot of health from Vicious Strikes and it makes Reckless Swing less punishing. Overall, this will make it so that Olaf's defensive options are a little bit more cohesive and then he can balance health versus AD as opposed to all these different defensive mechanisms. Ziggs has a few tweaks in store for him. Explosive Minefield's mana cost, slow duration, and damage for hitting multiple mines are all going down. Why are we making these changes? The minefield change is actually pretty straightforward, it's really an issue of tuning. It's really cool to see Ziggs use minefield as kind of a zoning and area control tool, but the mana costs were a little too high unless he had blue buff to really make that work. Conversely, when you threw it on top of a guy, it was really doing a little bit too much damage and a little bit too much utility, so we wanted to tone those things both down so that not only do you feel better using it in the zoning case, but throwing it on top of a guy isn't pretty much an instant death. We're changing the regeneration sigils in the jungle on Summoner's Rift to also restore some mana to the champion in addition to health. What's the goal with this change? What we really wanted to accomplish by putting mana on the regeneration sigils is to open up some new jungling routes and new options for junglers. For example, as a jungler who uses mana, you can make the choice to either start maybe at small golems or at lizard and not feel completely crippled by the fact that you don't have blue buff. This also has a lot of implications for counter jungling as well. Counter junglers not only are denying more resources from the enemy when they do this, but they're also sustaining their own mana and making it easier for them to continue counter jungling if left alone. Thanks for tuning in to the League of Legends patch preview. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.